Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, great. So, uh, with Facebook, to advertise with Facebook, uh, you have got this tool which is known as ad accounts. Okay. And uh, there are two types of different ad accounts. The first one is your personal ad account, which is ad account of your profile. Like uh, your personal ad account would be Sean Tamber Kelly ad account. Okay. And then you can also create your business ad account. Like you can create positive ad account. Uh, to access both of them, it is pretty simple how you can do it. You need to go to uh, your browser and you can open business.facebook.com. That's it. Business.facebook.com. Okay. Now, something uh, which we will always recommend our clients uh, who want to advertise is to go for a business account, right? Don't use your personal ad account. You can easily create a business ad account. So how do you do it? You go to business.facebook.com and you go to uh, you go through the three to four steps. It will ask you that what is your business name? What, what name do you want to keep for your, for your ad account? You can keep your business name as your ad account name as well. Okay, and you move forward with the process. Uh, once you complete it, you come to uh, this page, okay, from where you can see your business ad accounts. I have multiple of them out here. And if you go to all tools, now this is the most important part. You will go to all tools and you'll go to business settings. Okay, you'll go to business settings. Mm -hmm. Because only business ad accounts have access to business settings, mm -hmm. uh, not all of them. Now I have a security authentication here, so just give me a minute. Mm -hmm. So you, I just want to make sure I, um, that we're on the same page. You can run ads from your personal account without yes. setting up a business account. Yes. yes. Why would someone want to do that? And what is the what is the the ups and downs of doing that on your personal account versus your getting um, a business account? Right. So uh, with your personal ad account, uh, you don't get the feature where you can track the iOS users or the Apple users, right? Because uh, according to Facebook's policies, you need to be a business in order to track uh, the details of iOS devices or Apple devices. One shortcoming is this. Second, your personal accounts are prepaid accounts. So first you put in the money, then you use it. While your business accounts, they work like a credit card, like you can spend uh, for ads and you have to pay later on, right? So they give you oh. a threshold limit. Yeah. Okay, so, so account, go ahead. They give you a threshold limit. Like let's say in starting, it will be like $50. So Facebook says, uh, go spend $50. And once you spend it, then, you, then I'll charge it from you, okay? This way they keep on increasing the limit. Once you start spending more with them, they'll keep on increasing the limit. It'll go to $500, $1,000, and it goes on. Okay, what is the um, ratio, um, or is it not like that with Facebook ads? You know how people say, hey, if I spend $500, then how many leads am I supposed to get? That's the question I get a lot of times, but I don't think it works like that. Can you explain right. how, how that works with Facebook? Right. So that actually depends on business to business, right? No one can guarantee you for this much amount, I'll give you this much leads, right? Because uh, there are multiple factors uh, on which it is dependent. It is dependent on how good your ad is, okay? It also depends on what is your budget. Facebook recommends you to keep a healthy budget so they can give you the best results, right? It also depends on how good is your sales funnel. If it's not a good, well-designed sales funnel, a lot of uh, your your traffic is going to drip away, right? So it's actually a combination of multiple things, but no one can give you a perfect answer that one lead is going to cost you this much because it varies. It varies according to days. It varies according to times, right? But yeah, it, uh, uh, av average and average lead cost can be uh, found out once you have run a campaign for a week. Then only we can comment something. So we need to run the ad campaign at least for a week to let them know how much an average lead will cost. Because we need to have some data. 
right? We cannot predict. We cannot predict without any data. We need to see how how well their offer is performing. Makes there sense. might be yeah. That that is the whole Facebook thing. You you always try to create great offers because if the offer is great, your conversion rate is higher and you get more leads. But if it is a dull offer, you can spend thousands of dollars on Facebook and it's not going to give you anything. So the offer is the key there. So that's why you guys run a beta test, right? With different, right. You you create a couple of different ads. Right, yeah. and then you run each one of them for one um separately, right, for like a week to see how it it, it responds. Right, right. So we run al alpha beta testing. We run two different ads. We see which one performs better. The one which performs better that keeps going on. Uh, the one which doesn't, we chunk it away. So uh, there are like multiple uh, alpha beta tests which are done. They are done on your ad copies. They are done on your audience because. One time I might be uh, targeting business coaches, but on other audience I might I might be uh, targeting small entrepreneurs or small businesses. Okay, so I'll have to see which audience is performing the best for me, which audience is giving me the best results because there are multiple audiences in Facebook. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So you do actually run simultaneous ads. Right. You just want to see which one works best for you. That's okay. I thought I because, thought you ran one ad at a time to see, but you run simultaneous no, no, no. ads to see which one in, works best for you. In so the bigger campaigns, it's like we we are running eight to ten ads together, right? Because a lot of testing going on. The only way we can improve a campaign is by getting more data. If we don't get data, you you won't be able to make smart decisions for your ads, right? So we need to get more data. We need to do testing. This is how gradually with time. An ad campaign is improved. Gotcha. I kind of, I kind of read up on uh, Facebook ad, ad um, campaigns um, just a little bit years ago. So I kind of remember some things and don't. It's been a while. But I just wanted to make this video for my clients. Um, so kind of before we keep going with this, can you give me like the shelf life technically of the from the moment a client says, hey, I want to do paid ads. I'm tired of the organic, um, um, uh, you know, marketing and trying to get leads and all the tire kickers and time wasters and people playing games. I'm just ready to create you guys to create me a funnel. Tell me what it, what I need to give y'all to go in that funnel. You guys create the um the follow up you know uh, email campaign or SMS campaign. We go back and forth with you know do I like that wording and you know this that and the other. Um and then once we get everything together with the graphics with the with the with the funnel, with the uh, follow up emails or text messages, everybody is in agreement. Then I want to start funding my um, ad manager so that I can, you guys can start creating me, um, writing me ads and getting, doing the beta tests and different things like that. So what is the time, the average, I know it may go up or down, but what is the average time frame from the time that a client tells us that they sick of the, that, that regular recruiting and they want to create a machine to do it for them type technical thing. And um, what is the time frame from the time they say that until the time that we actually push the button to start the, the, um, the beta test on the ads? What is usually the time frame with that? That's what a lot of people want to know. Right. So uh, the time frame for uh, like when we start a campaign, when we start making all the graphics, we start making uh, the funnels, right? And uh, when we actually launch the campaign, that is a minimum of a month or 30 days, right? There is a reason behind it. Uh, there is also a reason of social proof. Like uh, uh, when we are changing the designs, okay, uh, we are, uh, let's say, we are improving their profiles. We are improving their business pages. We need to have some authenticity on the profiles. We need to be constantly posting for at least a month so when the paid traffic comes to your page, they see that this is not a business uh, which started working three days back. Okay, and you don't lose uh, the trust factor. When they go to your profile, they they see that there are multiple posts. They have been doing this work, right? And that gives gives your profile a very good shape, a very good uh, look and feel uh, when the paid people actually come there. Because on social media. Nowadays, everyone uh, cross verifies and trust is the major factor, right? So for that, to build that trust, we need actually a month of organic posting. 
right? Within that month, while the client is organically posting, what we do is we start working at the back end. We start working on their funnel. We start uh, working on how uh, the brand is actually getting projected through uh, through their uh, social media pages, right? So that is what we do. In a month, we, we create all this stuff, and then after a month, after 30 days, they'll be ready to go with the ads. Okay, so one second, one second, I want to clarify. When you say the client should be posting, these are the ads that we're creating for them, the social media posts that you be creating, the, the beautiful graphics and the, the, the copy, and then their own posts that they put out there with us. You're talking yes. about those posts, right? Yes, I'm talking about those posts. On right? their Which personal page and or their business page or just a business on, page or just a personal page? What are you talking about? Right, right. On their business, what we need for ads is their business page, right? Their personal page is actually completely for their organic growth because uh, that is uh, how they make it organically. That is something uh, which you take care of very well and you can you can like teach them how to get the most out of uh, right their business okay. page we're talking about the bi the business or yes. the fan page whatever we're going to be doing the ads off of ads is completely uh, related to the business page gotcha we don't gotcha do anything with the personal profile gotcha that's what i needed to <clears throat> i needed you to say i wanted to clarify that cuz i had some people kind of rebuttaling me with that you know like well um i i thought i was paying you to do that you know like wait a minute hold up <laughs> You know, no, 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 no. This is why it'd be taking so long because while they sitting up waiting on us to create, you know, the sales funnel system and they think it's like a magic wand or something. I'm not, I'm not, you know, most people are just um, ignorant to the fact they don't know. So that's why I'm making this tape as well so that I can give it to future clients and current clients to know that there is a system so that, that we're not looking like scam artists. There's a system that we all got to work together on. You know what I'm saying? There, you know, and most people can't afford somebody to go on their business page and be posting all for them like that and responding to posts and stuff and all of that. So when they come in and 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 I don't give them a five thousand dollar or above price because I'm trying to help them out. You know, I give them maybe a thousand dollar, two thousand dollars, whatever. You know, it's like they they feel like that they don't have they don't have to do no work. <laughs> <laughs> at all it's all on us you know what i'm saying to make it happen for us like no this is a a collaboration a group thing that we and even if a person was paying even if like movie stars or whatever was paying someone to do their social media is still we need to know what the person likes we gotta we gotta go back and forth with the ad copy make sure it's worded the way they want it the, the colors are right the picture is what they want you know what I'm saying so it's never and I, we have to debunk this fallacy Sarab it's never where it's all done for the client the client has to work with us in multiple ways right on you know some a little bit more than others you know it's according to how much they pay us etc um but nobody should feel bad about that even if they only got a thousand dollars or whatever you know five hundred dollars we can still work with them but they just they just got to do a little more work too right, right. yes or yes right yeah because uh, you are uh, your best advertiser right you are your brand's best advertiser so if they do it uh, themselves, they are able to uh, put out the voice in the right way, the way they want it. So yeah, right. There's no them. way. There's no way that we can be in somebody's head that we ain't never worked with before. And, you know, like if we don't work with them on several projects and we kind of know some basic stuff, then, yeah, you know, if they want to like do a new campaign for something else or whatever. But even then, we would still need some landmarks and different things like that or whatever. So, yeah, and it has to be on the business page. So where people, it's cool for them to post these things that we're giving them in groups and on their personal page and in their stories and stuff like that on their personal page. But it mostly should be directed to their business page. That they're right. posting things and asking people to like and comment and look at their business page. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay, Perfect. great. I just wanted to clarify that. And that's where that lengthy time comes in from the time they say, yes, I want to run paid ads. They just, you know, it don't, it does, it's not that easy. There's a system that has to be followed so that we don't get booted out, so that they'll get some results 
And there's no guarantee that if they put in $500 a month or $1,000 a month, that they're going to guarantee get five leads, good leads, or 20 good leads. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole combination of things that would make that happen, but there's no guarantee that, you know what I'm saying, that they're going to get right. a specific amount of leads. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's actually a process, so it takes time. You have to uh, trust the process, right? Because uh, when you're building something, you cannot expect that uh, results will start coming in 30 days or 40 days, right? It can take a lot more hustle, but if you keep working, the results will definitely come. That is something we can promise. Beautiful. That's what I love about Facebook ads. So, okay. Well, that's the, that's the basics of what I want. So the rest of the part, they don't really need to know all about all that. Like, unless you think that if there's something else we need to record um, on my phone so that I can send them or then right. you just want to talk to me from this point on. I, I think uh, that is it. The other thing is like, as I, as I told them, uh, that once they create uh, their business ad account or maybe their business profile, they can go to business settings. It's, it's pretty simple. Go to business settings. You'll come to a window, something like this. Go to ad accounts. If you don't have any, click on the ad button on the very top and create a new ad account. Simply create a new ad account for your business. Once an ad account is created, you can share the access. Okay. You can share the access by adding people on the top. You see add people. You go there. First of all, you go to people, you add a people, all they will need to, uh, all they will need to share the access of their business ad account is just an email. They don't even need to be your friend. They don't need to be uh, with you on Facebook because this is a complete business thing, right? So all they'll have to do is simply put an email. They'll put our email out here and they can click on if they want to give us employee access or admin access, they can turn turn this on. So they will be next. putting they will be putting your email right there or my email. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. My email because we'll be managing that. So my okay. Email. And uh, in the first step, I, I put in the I put in, in the email. In the next step, out here, I can add what all I want to share with me. So like pages, if they want to. Let's say, share this page with me, Boss of Dynasty. So you can select Boss of Dynasty and you can click on Manage Page. So I'll be able to manage it and run ads for you. And then they can go to their ad account. Let's say, this is the ad account. Let's say this is the one. And I'll say Manage Ad Account. Now you have given me two rights to manage your page and manage your ad account. And that's it. That's all needed. And you can send us the invite. Perfect. Perfect. And, um, and you guys, you're looking at this, all you got to do is stop the video, restart it again. It's, you know, going to be on YouTube, um, so that you can actually know how to do this. This is not our job. This is y'all jobs to do. Um, and then cool. The next thing is how do they fund it? How do they add a credit card to the account? Right. So now because they have created the account, this is this is why we want the clients to create the account so they, they always have the full access to their accounts, okay? Mm-hmm. We are just managers for their ad account. We are not the owners of their business. So that is the reason we always tell them to create an ad account. So once they have created it, again, go to the tab, the, the, the three uh, lines out here, mm-hmm. and then you'll have the option of billing. Go to billing. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And inside billing, you have payment settings. So you can go to payment settings. And right now it's showing pay now, but uh, yeah, this is what they'll see. Add payment method, right? So I have two cards added. They can click on add payment method and they'll get this window you want to add a debit card or a credit card how many payment methods can they add at one time they can add multiple they can add just in case and so or, mm, okay yeah just in case one card doesn't have something on it they can have another card a backup card yes 
Right. Yeah. Cool. One cool. Card doesn't have Y'all hear that? You want to have a backup card on there just in case. We don't want your ass to stop or, you know, anything that, you know, negative to happen because when they go in there to grab that money and they grab it, what, at the end of the month or at the end of the week or? Uh, no. There is actually a threshold limit. Okay. So that threshold limit will start with, let's say, $20. So Facebook is going to initially give you a credit of $20 in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So you can use it. Once you start uh, using your ads, let's say now you've spent $100 on Facebook. So it'll increase your threshold limit to $50. Now they'll only charge you once $50 are spent. So this way, the threshold keeps on increasing and Facebook keeps on giving you more credits. So because they want you to run ads, right? Gotcha. I get it. So you may have five or $600 on your card, but they don't take it all at one time. They take no. $50 first. And once the 50, it's usually about $10 a day, something in that area, 10 to $20 a day. I think that's the limit. They do it, something like that. And then um, once that's done, then they say, okay, then they go back on your card and grab. Okay. All right. Grab a, a little bit. More. Now, what is your, um, what is your suggestion to people that just getting started doing the Facebook ads um, that don't have a whole, 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 whole lot of money, but they know they got to spend money to make money. What is the limit that you would, the, the minimum that you would have a tell a person to have on their card for a 30 day um, campaign? Right. The minimum will be like at least $10 a day. So we can start with the testing and we can uh, like, because we have to do a lot of testing. Okay. So we'll start with the testing. If things start, uh, getting good with their campaign and they start getting a good return on it so then slowly they can like scale it once they start getting funds they can start scaling it okay um i, I want to make sure i understand that and whoever's watching so probably about three hundred dollars on a card is that what you're saying three hundred to four hundred dollars on a card to get started uh because yeah, you're saying ten dollars ten dollars a day for a 30-day campaign right. that's like three hundred dollars Right. Yeah. That's the minimum. That's the minimum. Yeah. About three hundred. Okay. Those, those three hundred dollars are covering a complete month of paid advertising, right? So for a month, that's that's I think fair. Okay. Because so that. Generally, once people start getting results, they start spending more. I right? get. And why? And why is that, Nick? Why? Why if you start off low, and you start getting results? How come you can't go lower since you're getting results? Why do you have to go higher? Because yeah. I know yeah. most most yeah. people that are really getting good results on Facebook, they're spending about $1,000 to $5,000 a month. Right. Because the reason is because Facebook works on or, or how you make with money, that is actually known as ROAS, R-O-A-S, Return on Ad Spend, okay? R-O-A-S, ROAS. So let's say uh, your ad campaign is giving you a ROAS of... Uh, Four, okay that means for every ten dollars you are spending you are selling or you're earning forty dollars okay if you wow have four, that's, four, that's good so when you are spending ten you are earning forty why will you not like to spend hundred and earn four hundred if you're able to do it with hundred then why won't you will like you'll, you'll like to spend thousand and earn four thousand so that is why they keep on scaling it. If you if you have a, a good enough rows, which you can find, right? If your campaign is giving you a good return on ad spend, you will always want to spend more because you want to earn more. I get it. I get it. I can, I get it. Okay. So I pray that everybody got that. If you don't understand that, let me know. We'll break it down a little bit more for you. But I get that. I think a lot of people, the novice, they're looking at it like ROI. They're looking at it like if I spend uh, uh, three hundred dollars. I want to. I want to get three hundred leads. You know what I'm saying? Or five hundred people coming through my funnel at one time. If I'm gonna spend five hundred dollars, or you know what I'm saying? And they don't understand. It's more of how much you gonna make. The ROA. Uh, what, the, what, the, what they are thinking is perfectly uh, fine, but they also need to understand that it happens with scaling. It never happens that see if if someone is uh, spending just ten dollars on Facebook. Uh, maybe let's say for uh, three years, they cannot make much money because how much return will you get on $10? You'll definitely get, at max, you'll get a return of 30, 40, 50, or maybe $100, right? So if you just keep spending those $10, you cannot make a huge sum. Some, somewhere you'll have to take the risk. You'll have to increase your ad spend 
and then you can only increase your earnings. Because Makes if sense. there is a rose of let's say five, and if I if I uh, spend three hundred dollars in a month, that means uh, three like I am earning fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, five times return if I'm getting. But if I'm uh, let's say spending three thousand dollars, I'm earning fifteen thousand dollars. That's a profit of twelve thousand dollars. So that is how the money is made. I get it. I get it. I get it. Like I said, I'm, I I want to um appease to the mind of the novice because you say, oh, I'm spending three hundred dollars and I'm getting fifteen hundred. But if I spend a thousand, then you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get three thousand or four thousand or something to that extent. And they're looking at, well, where, what do you mean? You know, my product, my, my I'm looking for people to sign up to be a customer for me, or I'm looking for people to sign up to be a business partner with me. How can you say how much money I'm going to make? You know what I'm saying? So say for instance, a person signed up a business partner and they, when that, when that business partner comes in, they don't get no money. But when that business partner spends money, like they, they buy a package, they buy some products, they decide to come on in the program and then they spend $500 or four, or maybe it's three ninety nine to join the program. Plus they have to do some shopping or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And they make a certain percentage off of that. They're, that's where people's mind will go. Well, how can they say how much money I'm make if Facebook don't know my comp plan so what do you mean Sarab that if I spend 300 I may get I may make whatever you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I'm getting you so yeah. the only thing I'm, I'm telling you is it's all about scale right because uh, when when you are actually running campaigns the first thing is to have a successful campaign that is the most important thing right because if you don't have a successful campaign, then we will never recommend you to start spending more. If you're not getting that return, if you're not getting a good return on, let's say, $20 or $50 ad spent, right? So first of all, those things need to be fixed. Once we know you are getting good return, you are doubling your money or tripling your money on the ad spent, that is the time when you actually start scaling it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm wrapping my head around it at the same time that I'm making a video <laughs> um, for my clients as well. So this is good. This is good education. Again, everybody, whoever's looking at this, if you don't get it, you need to be broken down a little bit more. Um, you can always Google, you know, um, how does Facebook spend my ad money? You know, something to that extent, and they'll break it down for you even more. But I'm pretty sure most of y'all are super intelligent and y'all get it. You know what I'm saying? What they mean by the ROA compared to the ROI and compared to the uh, lead per click and all of that. It's a, those are they just different things. And this is the way Facebook is doing it. And again, they usually spend about $10 or so a day. They, they, they set a budget for you in the beginning. And then as you start getting results or whatever, or that that's fine, they go through. Then that campaign is working. Then they let you spend a little bit more. They'll take a little bit more. So the, so really, the more you can spend um, on, on you know getting started day by day, if you can spend $100 a day on ads or $500 a day on ads or 25 and just think it's a 30-day campaign right? The more of, of success you're going to have with people coming through your funnel, your funnel's got to be tight. That's why Boss It Up takes so long to get these funnels together because we want to make sure that you are going to get that ROA. You're not going to have people coming through your funnel and running <laughs> because it's it's unprofessional. It's so too salesy or looking like everybody else's. You know what I'm saying? Some basic stuff need to be there, obviously, that everybody need to have. But Boss It Up really want to specialize in, in the human to human so that people know you care. They not, they don't just feel like you're just trying to get their money. They really want you. We really want them to have success with um, whatever we have them signing up for. Okay, Nick, is there anything else you think that people need to know? Can I turn this off? And Yeah, I think uh, that will be all, right? That, uh, uh, this has been like pretty clear uh, for the people, how they can understand Facebook ads, how they, can, how they should look at Facebook ads, right? So I think we have covered it. Okay, beautiful. Thank you, my friend. My CTO, Chief Technical Officer, uh, Sarai Hussain, um, we're really working together to make sure you guys are pressed down, shaking together, and overflowing to success. We know you can't understand every little technical thing, but just trust the process, like he said. 
Facebook been get, making people millionaires. They still making people millionaires today. You know, just that again, it's a combination of things and then having patience. You guys working with us and creating your business pages and posting your things on there and asking people to like your business page and look at it and, and getting your reviews and stuff on your business page and from past clients and everything. So your business page looks snap, crackle, pop. So thank you so much, Mr. Hussein.